Now I'm just going to make this video quickly and it's going to be a bit echoey, I apologise, but we're going to talk about the true colours that have been shown currently with all of this, um, as they say, conflict. It's not really just a conflict. It's more a ethnic cleansing, as they say, with Palestine and Israel. And I'm not going to be uncensored with this, right? So if this gets taken down, please repost it, save it. Try and do what you can with this because this is something that um, that is serious at the moment. If you do want to donate to Palestine, you can go and uh, please help them in the scenario. Aisha Speed has been helping him, Aidan Ross, even though he's kind of all over the place. I, I generally do not know what he actually supports. But recently, true colours have been shown. True colours. Oh my gosh, like all of these people that you thought that were based, that, that you thought were the people that were going to support Palestine. You thought, yeah, they were going to support them. And then they slap you in the face. Everyone got fooled by Jordan Peterson. They all put them in a high regard. Everyone put him as some saviour when it came to, you know, trying to spread more Islam. Even Muhammad Ajab, he tried to invite him to Islam. They did an interview, blah, blah, blah. And next thing he does, he sends a message to Christians and Jews. Sorry, Christians and Muslims. But he misses out the Jews for some reason because, oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, when you're paid by it, that's a, that's a whole nother situation. But now all of these people that you supported before who are saying, well, I pray for Israel. I pray for the, the oppression that is going on in Israel. I pray that, that, that there's peace, there's, there's peace and there's peace. Well, if you live in a fantasy or you live in reality, then you know that peace cannot just be made from out of nowhere. That's not reality. If you can wake up really wake up to the reality of the world, the reality of history. Peace does not involve, or peace talks doesn't involve words, it involves swords. Now, I do not necessarily mean that, uh, that I don't want peace between the Jews and the Muslims, of course. To be anti-Ionist, you don't have to be anti-Semitic. I can't be anti-Semitic, as Malcolm X said himself. To be anti-Semitic, you have to be anti-Arab. That doesn't work like that. But for these influencers to actually come out here with a nerve, to try and support, like even Aidan Ross, he was all over the place. He started supporting Palestine after supporting Israel. It was like, it was jumping left and right. Maybe he was afraid of backlash. Even Miami Heat coming out with all of this crap. But let's just look at this in a, a good perspective. Of course, Western prime ministers and Western leaders aren't going to support Palestine. These are the same people that took over the land. Do you think these are the people that are going to support Palestine? These aren't going to be the people that support Palestine. Do you think people who are in the mainstream media are going to support Palestine? N-O. They are not even going to blink when it comes to Palestine. And not even going to glimpse when it comes to Palestine's oppression. It's not realistic and it's not going to happen. So we have to look at this in a realistic way. If there is going to be peace and if there is going to be in this independent state of Palestine, we have to look it into a realistic perspective. We are not going to have a normal conversation when I'm like, oh, can I have my land back? Yes, you have your land back. That's not how it works. Unfortunately, in war, there is bloodshed. This is not something I'm going to just bring down and just hide. This is history. If you look at history, bloodshed has always happened. It's not something that is suddenly disappears because we live in the 21st century. It will always exist and will always exist. If I replace Palestine, by the way, with... If I replace Ukraine with Palestine and say, hey, let me give my weapons to... Um, let me get the weapons, the uh, Russian weapons, right? And let's replace uh, Israeli with Russia, right? And let's say, oh... As a Ukrainian, I have the Russian weapons and then I'm trying to take back my land. The media, as I say that, would celebrate me and promote me and say, well done for saying that brave statement. And if I ever replace that statement with Palestine and Israel, suddenly is oppression and suddenly is errorism. How does that make any sense? Realistically, in your brain, think about this. How does that make any sense to have that at all? Now, I want you to really think... Are you going to continue to support these people? Are you going to continue to follow these people? Or are you going to stay there blind, like a sheep, staring at a screen, half dead all the time, scrolling through TikTok, doing nothing of your life? Or are you actually going to get up and start to realise that maybe, hmm, 
They might be lying.